guys, welcome back. Today, I finally got the brake parts in. We're gonna pull this caliper off. I had a buddy push the pedal while I spun the rotor, and this one seems to come back a little slow. But I pulled the clamp off the brake hose here, and it looks like it might be pinched, but I'll know better when I get the new pads and calipers on if the flow coming out of the bleeder is a little slow or if it's still slow. If it's still slow, then I'll get another line. This line's pretty easy to replace, so. But for now, I'm gonna get these calipers and pads out and put the new ones on. All right, got the caliper and pads in. I had dad help me bleed the brakes. So they seem to be flowing okay, even with this line like this. I don't think this line is as pinched as it looks. So now I'm gonna get the truck up in the air. I'll show you on the rear diff where I'm gonna try and bleed from the lines and I'll explain why. But first I'm gonna get my tools picked up and get moved. Everything moved to the back, I gotta clean up here. So once I get back there, I'll explain why I'm gonna bleed it by the lines and not the wheel cylinders. All right, so back here, we have a wheel cylinder bleeder broke off and a really rusty one on this side. So the goal is to be able to crack the lines loose here and here and bleed it. Why? They repair the brakes right here. That being said, I noticed there's a little bit of brake fluid there, so that might be why it's leaking. But since this stuff over here is lower than that line, it should still have fluid in it. So then we should be able to bleed the air out of it that way. But I noticed that that line is leaking there, so I might have to put a new line on it. But we'll find out once we start bleeding. Alright everyone, I took it for a ride. It doesn't pull to the right anymore. It doesn't pull to the left after I let off. The brake light is out, you can see. Uh, I just gotta figure out some more tuning issues. Um, just take a listen here. I'm just gonna kinda stab the accelerator and just take a listen.
But now if I ease into it, that's giving me a pretty good sign that the accelerator pump and the quadrajet's going out. So I'm gonna decide I might take and get the adapter plate to run a Edelbrock on a quadrajet intake and see how it goes. And if that doesn't fix anything, is what I'm gonna do is I'll probably do an aluminum intake with a brand new distributor and a brand new carburetor or fairly new carburetor. So then I can take all the factors out of it being a distributor or anything like that. But I think that's gonna be the next step is gonna be cleaning out the interior. And once I get the interior cleaned out, then I'm gonna put a different carburetor on it and see if that sputter goes away. But it's definitely drivable the way it is. It's just not 100% perfect. But other than that, it's running pretty good. No more pops. The brakes work amazing now. This thing just looks kind of cool. I love the stock look. Well, that'll be it, guys. That's it for part three. Stay tuned for part four. The brakes are fixed. The brakes are good. Bleeding them by the differential worked great. So glad that worked out. Now we just got to get that interior cleaned up. Got to get at that interior. Um, and then I'll get working on tuning. But part four coming soon. It'll either be the interior or the cleaning, one or the other. But stay tuned. Make sure your notifications are on so you can see part four. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're a subscriber, make sure you like and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.